Fuck them hoes. Pull away my minute. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia Ramos. If this is your first time here, um, today I'm just going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. And I just want to look presentable for the grocery store, whatever I want to do. So yeah, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first things first. To moisturize, I'm just going to use my Neutrogena, the oil-free moisturizer. I just get the um, combo oily skin one because I do have normal to oily skin. Um, and then to prime my face, I'm just going to use the Nivea Men, the Sensitive Post Shave Balm, but yeah, it does the job, so I'm gonna use it, and it's like $5. Uh, today I am not doing much, um, um, and today is actually the day that my first video goes live on YouTube. I'm really excited, I'm really proud, I'm feeling really good right now. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the LA Girl, the Pro Matte um, in the shade beige. Just using my Morphe sponge. It's this little one. It's actually really, really good. I really like this foundation because, again, I'm green and I'll just go on my eyelids because my eyelids, um, they're kind of pigmented but not really. Like, and my cheeks and my nose um, is usually the areas that I focus on because that's usually where I have like my pores and like more texture. My skin has been really good um, the past couple weeks. Uh, I just have like a little bit of scarring from before. Oh well, I just have that little guy right there, but he's fine. And then after blending, like I'm freaking tired. <laughs> is fine and then i'm just gonna go in with the maybelline fit me in the shade 15 fair and make sure to get in the inner corners as well um it may look like i'm putting on a lot right now because i am um and this stuff is i feel like it's pretty lightweight um sometimes i feel like i might have to build it up just because it's lightweight. Maybe it's just me. I really don't know. But... Just blending it out with my sponge. Because that's the way I blend it out. So, like, that's probably fine for now. Taking my Cody Airspun. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I'm just making sure to shut everywhere. And again, I don't really care about that little blemish because I feel a little blemish. Okay, so I'm just going to dust away some of the powder that was underneath of my eyes. And also, I didn't do this earlier. I'm just buffing it out with a brush. And I'm taking my sponge again, using a little bit of the powder just to set my lids because those will crease too. I'm just dusting away the excess powder on my lids too, just wanting to set. And then I go kind of like all over the place with my makeup. I don't really go in order like eyes, face, and back and forth. I'm going to work on the face now. I'm just going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze or Deep Bronzer. Yeah, I'm just really, really love this stuff. It smells so good. And yep, making sure just to bronze all the areas that you want to. And I don't really contour my nose. I just kind of take the bronzer brush. Like with whatever's on there and just kind of see already look at that. and then I'll just put as much as I want to I think that's sufficiently bronzed enough and I don't normally do blush I'll do blush if I feel like it but 
not let them just out. That is good. I'm fine with that on like an everyday basis. Like I'm not looking to be super chiseled. Just blending everything out with just a powder brush. This is the number one from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take my Revolution Makeup Revolution um, Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray um, because I'm going to do my highlighter next. So I'm going to do that. And going back in with my sponge just to go over everything, make sure everything is seamless. I always do this. So I'm going to use my Desi XPD um, Dose of Colors Fuego highlighter. I really, really have to stroke my brush. I don't know why. And then I just spray it a little bit more with the brush. So that's really quick extra glazed donut and I'm here for that so just really packing on the shooting stars you know why not love it love that a little bit up on my temples just to make it look kind of glowy and taking a little brush my nose itches teeny tiny little one you can find this one is like teeny freaking tiny it's from Morphe. It came in a set, so there's no number on it. I go in with a brighter highlight. Um, this is like for my nose and for my inner corner, my brow bone, wherever else you want to highlight. I, I'm taking my Soap X um, Makeup Revolution. This is it's made up, it's cracked, it's everything. Because I use this all the time. I'm using the lighter shade, one of the lighter shades on this side. I'm going to use this one. And, and that is perfect. And then a little bit in between my brows and like the bridge of my nose. I don't know what it does, but it looks cute, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also do the tip of my nose. I'm gonna go in with some more spray because why not? You can never have too much spray. Blending that in as well and see, look at that. Look at that more like skin focused kind of and then I'll go ahead and do mascara and whatnot. I actually don't have mascara with me right now. It is in my purse. So I gotta go get that. Before I do that though, I'll go ahead and just do my brows. Um I do my brows like however they want to come out. They're different every day. So and I'm just using the LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil. It's the brow pencil that I use all the time. If not, I actually really have been liking the Morphe brow pencil as well I can't find it but it is really good too and it's only like five dollars so if you can get that and this one too five dollars not bad and I can't really talk when I'm doing this because this takes me years to do just leave them be however they want to be Come out however they want to come out, and if they're working me one day, working with me one day, probably not gonna work with me the next. But... And I usually always go back in with concealer to clean up my brows because I don't really care if I get messy with my brows. It's just like they're there, so I'm just gonna. And I'm just using my same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And yeah, just look at that difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other side. And this one can come out way different than the other one. So, so this one can and probably will come out way different. And that is a because you know she's too. living her life just like the other brow. So I'm gonna let them do their thing. Like I said, I'll just clean it up with concealer. Well, I guess I'm perfectly fine with how they're looking right now. 
And again, that little guy got two clothes real quick, just like that, nothing, nothing crazy. And just, I keep going back in with my spoolie on the other side just to make sure everything is blended and I can see where there are some gaps. I don't fill it in like all the way, like there's still like some spacey parts right there and that's fine. Like that I already can tell it's like way thicker than the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and even that out right now. Where is my concealer? Oh, it's right in front of me. Wow. Doesn't have to be perfect. It is fine, just like that. Just taking my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plum Brow. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I looked for it at the store and they had like new ones so just want to put something in the crease so it'll look good. and yeah i'm just taking a fluffy brush it already has like a bronzer on it from last time and uh something simple so whatever's on there is perfectly fine because it's most likely just a bronze and that's it done done but I will, since I already have it here, my little, my little baby brush that we were using before to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to go back into the Soap X palette. I don't know why I keep showing it to you guys backwards, but you know what I'm saying? And I'm just taking the same highlighter that I used for my nose um, underneath my brow, and then just blending back again with my fluffy brush to make sure it's not like harsh or anything, and no harsh lines. No harsh anemia. Mascara. That's what I was gonna do. Sometimes I curl my lashes, sometimes I don't. Today I don't really feel like doing it, so I'm not going to. Just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I have so many bottles of this at home right now. Um, but this is always a go-to if you like really long lashes and you need a real good curling mascara. I um I know Shan XO here on YouTube loves this one as well. When I do this kind of makeup look, I won't do bottom lash mascara just because I feel like it makes my lashes look even smaller. Well, my eyes even smaller. So I'm not going to do that because I want to. Oh yeah, my... What's that thing called? Tight lining? Tight lining? Where is my pencil? Where is my pencil? I can't find it. I know I have... Oh, here it is. Um, I've really been liking the Morphe, um, the colored pencils. You can use them as eyeliners or you can use them as lip line. And yeah, I have Dark Moon and Regal. I and I'm just using the shade Dark Moon. Um, it's just a black. Oh. Mm. Adrian, freaking Beyonce outside because his car always has loud music playing. I can tell when he's in the parking lot. I know that freaks some people out um, doing that, and it kind of freaks me out too. So just don't look. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sharpen this. I'm just gonna use the lip liner in Honeymoon because I really, really like it. So you'll see it right now. Um, I have just been loving the Aquaphor lip repair. Um, some people clean off their um, lipstick, I don't have lipstick, foundation or beforehand, but. I don't really care, I just use like a little bit, so. The thing in a because my lips are pretty dry right now after having like foundation and all that stuff worn there. So, uh, yeah. It just looks really gorgeous and cute. You know. And just lining with the Honeymoon Lip Liner from Morphe. I do go underneath my whole bottom lip because um, my bottom lip is just like way bigger than my top lip so yeah that's just what I have to do I'm just gonna use this. 
this. This is the Maybelline Plumper Please. I feel like this is kind of like those buxom like lip plumper thing. But again, it's Maybelline, so it's pretty and expensive. And it's a really nice nude color, so I'm gonna use that. It's just a nude. I think it's like the lightest nude that they have. I'm going to do my hair really quick. I will be right back. <gasps> of course, I forgot my earrings. Yeah, I just did uh, my little space buns and. you guys really like this look don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys